Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling winning Wednesday. So, what were your wins today? What wins did you have today? I had my accountability call this morning. Um, got to talk about my wins during the week. Um, um, my business wins, my personal wins. Um, I love my accountability calls. I have such an incredible accountability coach and um, she just seems to get me. It's, it's kind of cool when you get somebody who just gets you. Um, understands all your little nuances, you know, all your little things where you got to go and do this, that and the other thing and your brain going all over the place. You're giving them accountability and your mind's going in 10,000 different directions and you're trying to bring it all together and put it in something understandable. But she gets me. So, yes. And we'll start on one topic and I'll flip it, move to a different topic and come back to that one and yeah, I'm all over the place. I'm a mess. <laughs> We're getting ready for our, for our evening walk and the sun is shining. It is actually our coolest day this week. Um, this morning uh, they said that the temperature was meant to be up around like 104. Um, when I checked later on to see what the temperature was, it was like 86 degrees outside and, and it was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I thought, it's going to jump like 20 degrees in the next two hours because around 4 o'clock we kind of hit the high. So I went and had a look at the weather predictions again and they were predicting we were going to be 94 or 96 today. So like, awesome but our overnight low is going to be like 84 it's not going to be a big drop in temperature and, I was like, and then tomorrow we're up to like 100 and something 101 102 or something i'm like well but we had a great cool down today because we had rain yes we had rain this morning it rained most of the morning which was awesome which is probably why the temperatures dropped and everything else it was amazing zephy spent um from when i did my um, when we got back from our call this morning, I don't know, we did. did that. Yeah, Zephy spent almost the entire day on her bed, on the dash. She did it, the only movement she did was to get up, move around, turn in a different direction, and flop back down again. But she basically um, spent her entire day on the dash watching the rain fall. She's happy to watch the rain fall. She is not happy to be outside in it. Um, poor dog was done. <laughs> I'm done, walking along dancing in the rain and she is darting in all sorts of different directions and doing these fast spins when drops would hit because they weren't the light drops, they were the kind of heavy drops and they would hit her on her back end and she'd spin around to try and see what was there to get that was trying to grab hold of her and then she'd get another drop and she'd spin back hours. the other way and she'd spin this way and then she'd spin this way and dart over here and dart over here she was trying to get out of the rain, it was hilarious and then when we got to the door um, I was undoing the waist belt and thing and she's trying to get out of the rain because I didn't have the awning open <laughs> she finally figured out, oh, hang on, I can go underneath Sparkles. So she went and hid out underneath Sparkles for a little bit while I got the door unlocked and opened it. And once it was open, um, she came out and just took this flying leap inside the RV. Um, and after that, she was basically up on the dash, and that was it. She was there for the entire day. Um, <laughs> kind of got a little worried about her at one point because I thought, you've been up there an awfully long time. And normally she'll go up there in the morning, and in the afternoon she'll disappear into the bedroom. And go in there and she may do the crate in between um but yeah she was interested in that so after i finished work today i thought you know i just feel like taking a nap i just feel like going and laying down before going out and doing it well i had a call when i finished um on the mailbox power chat today i had a call to do immediately at five o'clock so we did that and after that i said like you know i think i'll just go stretch out for a little bit you know just read for a little bit just to just to relax i don't feel like sitting in a chair i just wanted to lay down so i went and did that and Zephy comes up a point, she jumps up on the bed with her toy, walks all around and everything else. And then I kind of um, just tapped my hip because I was laying on my right, on my left side. And so I kind of just tapped my right hip and she comes over and she's sitting on the body pillow that I've got beside me. Because when I'm laying on my side, I always put my leg up on my body pillow. Helps keep my spine in alignment. Um, <laughs> and, she sits, and then she kind of keeps moving and then her feet just end up on my actual hip. And I'm just like, that feels a little sore. So I kind of lift her paw off it, and so then she keeps moving, so her back end sits on my hip and her front paws are on the bed, and I'm sort of like, that's a, that's a big difference. Um, and then she gets off that, so she's sitting behind me, and I pat the pillow in front of me and says, come here. And the next thing I know, this, this dog that was sitting there takes this flying leap over top of me and lands right next to me where I had been patting, and I'm sort of like, 
Okay, you were sitting and you just launched yourself from a seated position across me. I thought, that's pretty impressive. So she's all of a sudden starting to do these leaps from a seated position. And um, she's amazing. She just picks up things along the way. Like she'll see some a dog do something and watch it and f try and figure out how to do it. Like she can't figure out how the male dogs can lift their leg and pee. Whereas female dogs squat. So then she figured out how to squat with one foot up on an, on an object. <laughs> <laughs> one foot up on like one of those um, those parking ties, those th those concrete pieces you see at the end of a parking space. She figured if she puts one paw on one her back leg on that and the other back leg on the floor, she can still squat and pee. Now she's got it where she actually gets her leg up about this on top of an object about this high, so you're probably what about eight nine inches, ten inches somewhere around there, and she actually holds her leg off it and pees now. But she's kind of in a squatted position with her leg up in there. It's amazing just watching her work through this process and try and figure these things out. And this leaping thing, I have not taught her to leap. I try to get her to, to go through hoops. She will not go through hoops um, unless it's about this far off the ground. There's no way she can walk underneath it. And, oh, we just find through This way we just step through. So now I'm wondering if I get my hoop out again and start teaching her to jump through the hoop, if she will now do that. She's, and then, like, last night when we went to go for a drive in the car, um, I opened up the back door and she was kind of sitting off to the side behind me. She takes this and she's sitting. She takes a leap from the seated position six feet through the air and lands in the middle of this back seat. And I'm just like, well, that was pretty impressive. And so now she started doing more of this leaping thing from a seated position. And I'm like, I wonder where she's picked that up from because I don't recall seeing any dogs around that would be in a seated position and leaping like that. So unless she's watching dogs out the window i don't know but she's figuring some stuff out by herself and it's kind of cool watching her learn things i love it i love it but anyway we've got to get going for a walk um so let us know in the comments below um what your wins were for today so we can celebrate with you because i love celebrating wins i love hearing about how people have overcome um have had a breakdown they've had a breakthrough and that becomes a win they've completed another step on a on a on their way to a bigger goal um they've achieved that big goal you know whatever the one is no matter how small it is no matter how big it is just one step at a time where's my, um, my foot's foot, where's my foot going? it's just one step at a time you know just one step at a time that's all you need and it can just be little baby steps or it can be bigger steps but one step at a time um will help you get keep going towards your goal and every time you win you know you complete a step you then step up to the next step and remember every time that you come across an obstacle and you've got to figure out how to go through it under it over it, around it that is all part of a learning process it is mentally preparing you for the big goal that is coming the big goal you want to achieve you you know people talk about overnight success now if you have a look at these overnight successes you got to see all the struggles that they have gone through to get to where they are you have to be mentally ready to be able to accept the win that that big accomplishment is going to get you and the way you do that is you as you overcome these obstacles along the way going through them around them under them or over them um and it helps build your character and build you up and make you more mentally prepared in here to be able to handle um the successes that are going to come with your win with your big with your big huge win so remember baby steps along the way so let us know in the comments below what wins we had today because we'd love to celebrate with you if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button or the little thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yes. They're both up. Um, sorry. <laughs> Subscribe button or the notification button to let you know when we are putting up new video, when we have new videos go up. And um, with that, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. We will see you back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Thankful Thursday. Yay. So go out, have a super fantastic sparkling evening. Hey, Conera.